what sparked the recent violence was the airing on the internet of a very hateful, very offensive video uh, that, uh, that has offended many people around the world. Okay, I'm sure you remember that. That was Susan Rice sent out by the Obama team to five different Sunday shows to blame the Benghazi terror attack on a video. We now know not true. Joining us now, the author of the book, new book, The Ranger Way. And this is the man who fought for 13 hours during the attack in Benghazi. Chris Paranto is with us this morning. Chris, nice welcome to, to the finally show. see you again in person. You're not going to shake my hand and I, crush I was going to give you like that. I don't know. You sick? Do you want me to? No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I put I put the, the the antibacterial stuff on. Is that? It's not that. Soft. All right. It's the crushing right. of it's the bones that, that gets me. <laughs> now look, uh, serious stuff. Um, yes, sir. You were in Benghazi. Oh yes, sir. Uh, Susan Rice did not display uh, real <laughs> truth about that. Now she's in broad in a new scandal. What's your opinion now? Uh, she's a she's a liar. Pathological or not, she continues to lie. Um, I, you, there needs to be some repercussions. Uh, the people in D.C. in these last three years with me dealing with the Benghazi issue, I've seen that a lot of them think they are untouchable. Uh, this is get, Trump has been given the opportunity really to 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 show or set an example and show that these yeah. people are not untouchable. Look, you're, you're speaking calmly and rationally, <laughs> Trump, but I suspect that underneath it, there's a you're fire. Mad as hell. I'm I am mad as hell. I'm um, trying to maintain some professionalism, even though as a ranger it's hard to. But you can see my facial expressions. I'm not happy with it. And, and, and again, if Congressman Nunez, I know he's a good man. I know he's going to try to do his job there best he can. Will he be blocked by some of the Democrats and Representative Adam Schiff? Sure he will. But do the right thing. Set an example. And this sets an example and a precedence for other politicians to not continue to lie. Did I do a double negative there? I may have. Stop lying. I get the point. Yeah, stop lying. And if that means walking around in handcuffs on national TV, then do it. It now, needs to be done. You were, you were firing guns in anger uh, in the uh, Middle uh, East. Uh, uh, you little, know what you're talking about. A little bit, yeah. And now we have another gas attack in yeah. Syria, and President Trump says it's Obama's fault in so many words. That's sure. what he's saying. Sure. Your opinion on that? You know, I, I, he has some truth to that. Overthrowing dictators without a plan is not something you need to do. Uh, that's what he did. Uh, now we've got a destabilization in the region. Libya is a perfect example. We did with Gaddafi. Now look what Libya is. It's a failed state. The problem now that we have in Syria is that we don't know which side's the good side. True. You know, if we, 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 we throw Assad out, the terrorists are taking over. He's fighting ISIS, basically. So what we've done here with the so Obama what, administration what we is... we do? You know what? At this <laughs> point, I don't have an answer for you. I wish I did. And I'll be honest. And, and that's something politicians need to listen to. If you don't have an answer, say, I don't have an answer. And I don't, because but, you've got bad guys on both sides. But presumably you would say, don't establish another red line and failed to make it stick. How many red lines did Obama, was it six or seven? I don't, I don't know, but you would do the opposite. <laughs> exactly. You know, when you, when you, there's a reason a dictator's in charge. It's because, and it is, and it's sad to say, but there's a reason they're in charge is because if they're not in charge the way they are, then you see what happens in Libya. You see what's happening in Syria. But now Trump has inherited this. Stop putting blame now. Now let's see what we need to do to fix it. He's got a lot of, he's got smarter people than me. General Mattis, are you kidding me? Go to that guy. He can give you an answer. Uh, the book, yeah. The Ranger Way, brand new, uh, fresh out of the box. Uh, What's out. it all about? It's Pop about you being a ranger. <laughs> you know what it is? It's about me failing. It's about failing continually and picking myself up and, and never quitting. Really? If a lot of those, those failings had not taken place before Benghazi, I think the outcome may have been different for me. I never gave up. The team never gave up because we continued to fail throughout our lives. Mm -hmm. but we've always picked ourselves up, got over the obstacle, and continue to fight on. Are you going back? I would like to. Um, yeah, I, I've been offered possibly to go back, but I've got to finish out this year. But next year, I would, I would love to go back to Africa or the Middle East. If, if, uh, any of those guys out there, contracting companies, <laughs> I'm, available. Uh, oh, I'm available. You may know my fate, but I'm available, guys. I've got to get this. Uh, <laughs> you're in town, as in New York City. Yes, sir. For the Casino Night Fundraiser Nine Line Foundation. You'll be making an appearance along with Pete Rose. Pete I think Rose, he's a childhood idol. I can't believe I get to play <laughs> poker with Pete Rose. I don't know if I want to, though. Is it all about <laughs> you're playing with your own money? Uh, of course I will. Uh, no, it, it goes to a great foundation. Nine Line helps out with, with building homes for veterans that are, are, have been suffered IED attacks, lost arms, lost legs, and they're a fantastic organization. And they're run by uh, Captain Tyler Merritt, who was a West yes. Point graduate and yes. a veteran. Uh, and they've been very supportive of me 
throughout the uh, throughout the Benghazi debacle. Six yeah. o'clock at the New York Athletic. New York Club. Athletic Club. Yeah, I think there's a dress code for it. I think I have to dress up a <laughs> little bit. I'm a, I have one of those that you wear in, in my closet. I got to wear that same suit on. The tie's a little different now. Put it there, son. Oh, it was yeah. great to see you. Nice to finally see you. That was a too. firm handshake. Ah, right. right. It wasn't too firm, though. <laughs> so. <laughs> Thanks, it's guys. Chris Tanto Paranto. I love it? how you say, you said just like my SAS buddy. <laughs> oh, okay, you said just like that. Special Air Services, the British uh, Special Forces. Those guys are just, they're tough. Are they better than you? Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it, I knew it, I knew it. <laughs> Thank you, sir. You're all right. Thank Good you, stuff. sir.